So, Simon, it is what we now. We're about an hour after full time. Everyone's a bit flat. Yeah, I think I think it kind of summed the day up, to be honest. Um, I think, barring the first 10, 15 minutes of the game, where I thought we cut, we started quite brightly, actually, I think um, <clears throat> I think we were flat all over, to be honest with you. And I think it kind of showed when you, you see the chances we were creating on uh, on, on Wednesday against Bognor. Um, to today, it was a, a, a massive difference. Um, but it kind of happens. I think the exertions of Wednesday have kind of taken its toll a little bit on a few of the boys. Um, and, it, and I think flat is a good word for what it was today. I mean, it's interesting. We came in at half-time. We were winning 1-0. Um, we didn't really create a lot. Uh, what was the mood in the dressing room? Um, to be honest with you, I think I think people underestimated the conditions in the first half. I mean, everyone's kind of uh, people were uh, people moaning in the crowd about we're not playing enough football, but it was difficult with that wind we were playing against. It was difficult to do that, and we came in and like we said to the guys, yes, we're one 0 up. We've put ourselves in a great position, but didn't feel like we were playing the football that we could do. I think we we kind of didn't really hurt them getting in behind them like we have done teams in the in the last few weeks, but um, but. I think with them, those guys, they uh, Thurrock haven't played for a couple of weeks. They looked fresher. They looked like obviously a team that hasn't played for a couple of weeks that are desperate to play. Um, and I think they kind of just uh, they got on top of the game second half, and it was difficult for us to get back in. Do you think we played bad? Don't think we played badly. I don't think we played badly. I think the, uh, our quality end product wasn't there today, which I think we've shown in the last few games. But um, but no, I don't think it was bad. I think I think the thing that was kind of frustrating is the the energy levels. Um, I mean, we, we've got so I mean, Jack Warder, Nathan Crab, um, people like that, Brinky. It, when they're coming in saying they feel a bit heavy legged, you kind of looking at it and saying, well, okay, it must have taken a bit more out of them. Um, so I'm kind of frustrated more than anything. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm disappointed. We've a team's done a double over this year, over this year, this year. Um, but the beauty of it is now we've got a massive game against Hastings on Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, so the and the boys are desperate to win that one, desperate. So hopefully, we we'll see a good reaction. Is there anything in particular you're going to change for the team for Tuesday? Yeah, there'll be a couple that are coming. Um, obviously, we rested late in today, um, and I'm sure he'll be fresh again ready he's played a lot of football considering he's only sort of like 18 19 years old he's he's done fantastic and he's played a lot of football for us um but yeah we'll probably have a little jiggle jiggle around again um obviously it's just it's just keeping everyone fit to be honest with you i mean we're, we're having niggles every week and you're trying to patch people up and send them out and but that's how we have to deal with it that's the squad we've got but um but we'll be fine we'll be fine for tuesday and raring to go okay excellent and uh just on behalf of the uh, the fans, uh, happy new year to yourself and to to Mr. Brown. Um, enjoy your night out if you go out on Monday night and be fresh for Tuesday. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Ten thirty in bed for me. <laughs> Nick. <Yeah. laughs> Bottom that party, I'm at. <laughs>